Good afternoon, FIU. Today is Thursday, April 4th. My name is Gabby Ruiz. And I'm Amber Diaz. Coming up, we have information on Biscayne Bay campus safety and an update on FIU's Greek life. We also have the latest on FIU's initiatives to improve campus dining. All this and more on FIU News. Many of our fellow Panthers have expressed concerns about the safety and security of the Biscayne Bay campus. My co-anchor Amber has more on the story. Florida International University has had rising concerns with security measures at the Biscayne Bay campus. FIU students say FIU police need to have better communication with their students. Because when the shooter thing happened, I was in my dorm room with my friends and we like didn't know if it was a drill at first. And then um, we heard it wasn't a drill and that someone had a gun and we didn't know. And then we saw helicopters, so it was like very scary. Not only has there been a communication barrier between students and police, students are also concerned for their safety at night due to the lack of lighting. Based on where a lot of people park at night, I don't really feel secure walking to my car alone. And it is dark, so we like kind of just look around, but we're on a, we're an alert, but it's not necessarily safe to do that. In light of recent incidents on BBC, FIU police have been implementing security measures to ensure the safety of their students. We identified areas that could could get could benefit from better lighting. We've already started to change that. If if you walk the campus at night, you'll already see a difference. Each classroom has an emergency phone. Um, they've either got the old phone that you push and get a speaker or an actual voice over internet phone. I'm here inside one of FIU's classrooms where students can directly contact FIU police in case of an emergency through one of these telephones. For FIU News, I'm Amber Diaz. What an interesting story, Amber. Thank you for covering that. It always feels good to know that we're safe on campus. With more in regards to the safety of students, we now turn to reporter Gabriela Rodriguez with the latest update on FIU Greek Life. Major changes have come to FIU's Greek life since the pause was lifted back in 2018. The president thought that it would be in our best interest just to take a step back and evaluate what was going on in our Greek community and some of the risky behaviors that were happening. FIU President Mark Rosenberg suspended all Greek life back in December of 2017 after the Tau Kappa Epsilon Fraternity Group chat link containing inappropriate content and other offensive statements. Uh, we we're having our formal, which is kind of like a social event, um, kind of like a prom that we have. Um, and we found out that all fraternity and sororities were essentially suspended. It's unfortunate that those things happened because um, everybody should have an opportunity to grow and, and join a fraternity or sorority. After meeting with students, alumni and the National Chapter Association, FIU has enforced new policies in order to get Greek life back on campus a second chance. Although the pause had ended, fraternities and sororities still had to take important steps to prove themselves. In order for your organization to have time to reflect and realize what your purpose was, you had to do a presentation. It was this whole process that we had to submit packets and give presentations to why we felt um, we remained, we should stay on campus. As of May of last year, six fraternities that include Tau Kappa Epsilon, as well as Pi Kappa Phi and Phi Gamma Delta, whose house have since been taken by the university, remain suspended, some without guarantee of reinstatement. I'm Gabriela Rodriguez for FIU News. And another important update for Panthers is the upgraded food dining options that Modesto Medic now offers, including dietary accommodations for everyone. Haley Richards has a story that's bound to make you hungry. Florida International University's radio dining services are in full effect. Last semester, FIU announced it selected Charterwell's Higher Education as their new food provider and the improvements haven't gone unnoticed. Everything is made fresh from here. No canned goods. The buffet-style dining hall that used to be called Fresh is now 8th Street Campus Kitchen, and it's clear that the name was not the only change. And the change here has been great. The food's been better, they have more choices. This announcement came with many promises, including an improved dining experience for FIU's community. As you can see now, with the new dining options at MMC, we do have an allergy safe zone that includes gluten-free, vegetarian, and vegan options. Things that were not available a few semesters ago. I come here every day and the food is 10 times better than last semester. 
the foot is better. Last semester it was like monotone, but now they change it up a bit. This change has sparked more traffic in the dining hall. We've had a lot of uh, positive feedback, a lot of constructive criticism as well, but most of it's been very good so far. Normally there's a, a kind of a down period when we go into the spring semester, but the spring semester has been just as good as the fall. This is Haley Richards reporting live for FIU News. Those options sound so delicious. We definitely have to have our next lunch date there, Gabby. I'm going to take you up on that offer. Now let's go to Daniela Sanchez to see what's new with BBC Dining. FIU recently switched their food service provider to Chartwell's Higher Education in summer of 2018. With this change, students at Biscayne Bay campus are voicing their concerns over the future of their dining options. I mean, I like it, but there's just not enough options. When you go to MMC, there's a plethora of options that you can use. The hours of operations are considered an area of concern for students. The hours range from 3 to 7 p.m. on weekdays, while on weekends, Starbucks is only open for a limited amount of hours. Students feel um, the options should be open over the weekend because we have um, over 400 students that live on campus and you know, a lot of them don't have cars. The current food options at BBC consist of Moe's, Burger 305, Subway, and Starbucks. Many students are pointing out that these options aren't the healthiest. If you are a vegetarian and they don't have vegetarian options for you, I feel like that's very inconvenient. I wish some of the options were maybe a little healthier. Some students are also suggesting that instead of switching out options, like recently done with Burger 305, replacing Grill Works in fall, we simply add more options to the current ones. Let's try to revamp this, not just upgrading our dining services that we have, but adding on to them. Try a new method. Recently, however, a new food truck called Beef Steak has shown up on campus providing gluten-free, vegan, and vegetarian options. We're celebrating the incredible power of vegetables, and they're fresh, robust, full of flavors, full of different sauces. We're bringing, uh, we're bringing the upper-end culinary art to the streets. When the changes in dining options will go into effect is still unknown, but changes will be coming soon. With FIU News, I'm Daniela Sanchez. And now we turn to Brian and Lisette with sports. Hey Panthers, I'm Brian Rivero. And I'm Lisette Delgado. And here's what's new in sports. FIU students have explored new ways to play the sports they love without being restricted to the limits presented on campus. Let's go to Anna Gomez with the story. Students meet weekly at Kendall Soccer Park to release stress from their day-to-day -day routines and play the sport they love, despite not being able to play on official soccer teams. What inspired me was lack of inclusivity. I used to play soccer with my friends and everything, but a lot of times um, the guys didn't want to have a girl there. Yailene Zizer was excluded from those official clubs just like many other players who have now joined her unofficial club team. She created a community where both Miami Day College and FIU students can join and enjoy. The players consist of students with various majors, with ages that range from 18 to 24. According to a study done by the University of Wisconsin Stout, taking part in a community sport such as soccer is a great way to relieve stress while also having fun at the same time. When you shoot and you score or you make a great pass, it's like it's a, a good self-esteem booster. The girls on these teams enjoy playing with the boys. They welcome and are motivated by the challenges that are thrown at them. Honestly, I get motivation from my friends most of the time because they say it's a cool experience to come out and play and it's just, it's really cool to like experience yourself with other players, especially since we play sometimes with guys. It's cool to like go up to their level since they're a little more aggressive and all that. The group is always encouraging new people to join the games. They welcome all players regardless of their skill level. It's just good to get involved even if you're not good at it because you don't have to be good at it to come out and play. These students have found a way to be involved in a sport that they love and relieves their stress, despite the lack of inclusiveness for soccer in colleges of South Florida. With FIU News, I'm Ana Gomez. If playing soccer isn't your thing, maybe you should pick up a golf club at Top Golf, where they have promotions for college students. Michael Anchor Bryan covered the story.
Top Golf, a unique venue that features golf games and offers food and drinks, hosts college nights every Wednesday. For $15, college students receive unlimited gameplay, discounted food and drinks, and a personal area reserved for just college night attendees. Topgolf's version of golf is much like darts. The closer you get to the bullseye laid out in the field, the more points you earn. Cool place to bring your friends and, you know, hang out. You know, it doesn't matter if you're good or not. You don't have to take it too seriously. It's kind of like bowling, but like a new version of it. Topgolf is a popular spot in South Florida for college students that hang out on Wednesday nights. For some students, this is a great stress reliever after a demanding school week. We just finished midterms at Nova Law, and now we're just relaxing, having a good time here at Top Golf. With locations in Doral and Miami Gardens, college students could swing by their nearest Top Golf. This is Brian Rivero reporting for FIU News. We should go next Wednesday, Lizette. We definitely should. That sounds like so much fun. Now back to Amber and Gabby. Top Golf seems like a hole in one type of fun, but for those who aren't into golf, there's a new interactive app that allows you to explore the nightlife of Miami. Our weather anchor, Christopher Downs, has more on the story. Founder and FIU alum, Crystal Zhang, created an interactive app that allows consumers to experience an augmented reality scavenger hunt. Similar to Pokemon Go, but instead of catching Pokemon, you can catch real life things. The current feature that we have is uh, location-based service, meaning wherever you go, your little uh, character is on the map as where you are, and then you'll see different treasure chests around you, and then um, when you get nearby a treasure chest, it'll ping you a message and you can open the treasure chest, you will see that in augmented reality. The app services two sides of the market, giving users the opportunity to collect things that they enjoy and businesses the opportunity to increase engagement, preventing them from losing revenue. So my goal for this app is I want to make it into a real life RPG game where people can live their second life on this, in this environment, but virtually. The free app is now available for download on the App Store and Google Play. With FIU News, I'm Christopher Downs. I'm going to be sure to download that app. I'm always looking for new ways to explore Miami. Absolutely, Gabby. There's never endless opportunities or adventures in Miami. Now we turn to a story about a former FIU student that created a fashion club on campus to highlight student models and designers. Five years later, he's celebrating his anniversary at FIU's BBC campus. Demetra Jennings has the story. FIU's Eclipse Fashion Society is an organization founded by a former FIU student who wanted to give designers and models an outlet to be recognized on campus. All the time I'm blown away by the turnout that has happened with Eclipse in five years because I can honestly say I've trained and seen and nurtured probably like over 200 hopefuls, like 200 people that want to get into the fashion industry. I, I, have, I can honestly say that they came through Eclipse. Although the fashion industry is generally female dominated, Eclipse is open to all aspiring models regardless of gender. FIU's Eclipse Fashion Society hopes to give students confidence both on and off the stage and inspire them to work hard towards their goals. The models are known for practicing relentlessly in six and a half inch heels from the start of the semester until hours before showtime. Jamal hopes to continue inspiring students and believes his organization has helped members gain valuable friendships and have unlocked hidden talents. Some of my industry models here in the city are doing amazing things and they're getting credit to Eclipse because they started in Eclipse. So imagine 10 years from now, all the models that had came through, all the members that have came through, and their first journey, their first experience was in Eclipse. So that's, that's enough for me. That is enough for me to be like, you know what, that's my organization, and I'm excited. This is why I do it. From a club full of fashion, we turn to Mind and Melody, a club dedicated to music therapy. Christian Banabe has more. Music has become integral to the entertainment industry but it also serves as a tool to provide comfort and joy for individuals with challenging disabilities. Using music programs, Mind & Melody is a Florida-based organization dedicated to improving the lives of individuals living with and without neurological impairments, such as dementia, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. The goal is to connect 
individuals with the world around them and through music. So we have seen in our sessions um, people that sometimes don't want to socialize or interact just completely transform. What started out as a thesis about the effects of music on neurocognitive disorders evolved into a successful side project which launched its music sessions towards the end of 2014. But immediately I saw when we started to get to the songs that everyone knew, more people were singing, they were tapping their feet or they were clapping their hands. Mind and Melody continues to collaborate with facilities and expand its music programs. It also welcomes anyone, musician or not, to join chapters located throughout Florida and help bring smiles back to those affected. For FIU News, I'm Christian Benabe. Some Venezuelan students at FIU have felt affected by the recent events that have been occurring in their country. Andrea Ojeda has more. Some Venezuelan students at Florida International University say they feel affected by the political and humanitarian crisis in their country. I have been happy, I have cried because so many things have happened in the last few months. This semester has been just a roller coaster. FIU student Dorelis Falcón said she's worried about her family members that are still living in Venezuela. There's no food, there's no medicine, so I, I think that's something that worries me because they're not safe. Some students are helping by collecting aid to relieve the crisis in their country. We truly support us and we even have a group which is the VSA, which is the Venezuelan Student Association. And there we discuss all the topics and all the ways that we can help to solve or to relieve an issue that is actually in our hands. Hello Panthers, I'm Christopher Downs and here's what to expect from the weather this week in South Florida. Monday it will be mostly sunny with temperatures ranging from a high of 78 degrees to a low of 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Tuesday it will be fairly windy with winds at 19 miles per hour coming from the southeast. The temperatures will, the temperatures will be ranging from 69 to 73 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. For Wednesday, it is expected to be rainy for most of the day with an 80% chance of rain with thunderstorms coming from the northeast. So you don't want to forget your umbrellas. By Thursday and Friday, the weather is expected to be mostly sunny again with temperatures between 72 degrees and 80 degrees. Moving on to the weekend, some occasional showers are expected for Saturday with a 40% chance of rain throughout the day. And for Sunday temperatures, the ranges will be from 83 to a low of 75. Well, Panthers, that's your seven-day forecast. Have a great week. Thank you, Chris, for that weather update. I'll be sure to soak in some sunshine this week. Now we talk about mental health, which is a problem that plagues many college students. We're going to take a look at how depression and anxiety affect some of our Panthers here at FIU. Kirsten Vallejo reports. Some students at Florida International University have experienced elevated levels of stress due to the high demands of their professors and class assignments. This has led several students to suffer from anxiety and depression. I felt between my life and school, and like the pressure of the test itself, it was very st like stressful for me, and I didn't know how to cope with it. So I like I would have mental, like breakdowns, and like I would not know what to do. Like I would pan have panic attacks in my room. It was pretty terrible. A few students say they feel more open in speaking about their mental health since more awareness has been brought to the issue. Now that there's becoming more awareness, you realize like so many people on this campus suffer from panic. Single mother Roxana Hayek took a semester off when her son was born and many times has even thought of dropping out of school. I go through a lot every day. There's something new with my son, with me, with class, with work. There's always something. I'm sure everyone here has something that's going on. Um, everyone goes through stuff. I just have another human being that I have to take care of. FIU student Chelsea Strub feels professors need to be more sensitive regarding students' mental health. Because right now the only way for you to get any kind of help is to go to d disabilities. I don't want to be labeled with a disability to get an extension on my paper. Why can't I just talk to my professor? Why is it a stigma that I, I'm not disabled? I mean, it is debilitating, but it's not a disability. Some students have relieved their stress by taking advantage of FIU facilities and programs. I made sure to take advantage of the many resources that we have here at FIU. For example, I go to CAPS, um, the counseling and psychology um, services. If you feel stressed, anxious, or depressed, there's many facilities on campus that can help you. Don't be afraid to seek help. For more information, visit studentaffairs.fiu.edu. I am Kristen Vallejo for FIU News. Thank you, Kirsten. It's good to know that FIU offers resources for their students. However, if you're looking for a different way to de-stress, my co-anchor Gabby 
has all the latest on CBD oil, a popular and natural way to deal with stress. CBD's popularity is on the rise, particularly among college students as some find it as a way to cope with their stress. Just with the balance of school and work, I feel that it can relax me and give me a clearer mind to be able to deal with my everyday activities. Cannabidiol, known as CBD, is a natural component derived from the cannabis sativa plant. Unlike marijuana, it is a non-psychoactive strand, which means it will not cost the user to get high. CBD is kind of like it works the same day and eventually keeps working, keeps working, keeps working. So it's kind of like you see results right now and long term. Found in many forms from oils to creams, CBD has spiked in popularity. Actresses Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Bell have openly stated the benefit of CBD in their lives, promoting acceptance for this supplement. In many clinical studies, CBD oil has been known to help relieve levels of stress, anxiety, and pain, as well as improve cognitive skills. For these many reasons, college students who deal with stress on a day-to-day -day basis have opted to using CBD oil as a form of relief. You're getting the best of medical marijuana without getting that high feeling. So, you know, you're getting the benefits of with helping with pain, anxiety, um, depression. However, there is some misunderstanding around CBD as it is commonly associated with marijuana and THC, the component that creates a high effect. Side effects can occur, such as drowsiness. Too much of anything can be bad for you, so I fear that the more and more I do decide to take it, maybe I will be, it become addicting or something like that. Research studies have shown that CBD can also help with epilepsy and Parkinson's. I've seen it do wonders for not only me, but in numerous people's and you know, it's a life-changing thing, so I would highly just, you know, like I said, you know, reach out to companies or, you know, at least just try it. Most of our daily lives consist of stress in different ways. CBD oil is just the latest way to cope. Wow, Gabby, CBD sounds so helpful. I'll definitely be looking into that. Amber, if CBD doesn't work for you, they do offer kayaking at FIU, and it's a great way to explore the bay and relax. Here at FIU, students can escape the classroom and hit the water. Armando Naboot has more. Sun, salt water, and kayaks are a few of the many components to spend a sunny Saturday morning in Florida International University, navigating the waters of the Biscayne Bay. On days like today, FIU takes part in a fun kayaking experience, guaranteed to make you sweat. I kind of had an idea to say, why don't we bring this program here to BBC? We have one kayak, uh, we kind of use that as part of our, you know, our training. Um, if I can get my director to purchase more, we can start a program um, which kind of ties into us having the bay as our backyard. So it just made, it just made sense. Students who participate have stated that it offers a great workout and an opportunity to release some stress. Um, you get your exercise in, your, your bicep and your triceps, you get those workout, a little bit of shoulder work. And it's also relaxing because you don't have to paddle like the whole time. You can paddle a little bit and cruise and relax and see the mangroves. The Department of Wellness and Recreation have also incorporated night kayaking, where students sail under the sunset, led by a path of colorful, glow stick lighting. I mean, just being out in the water and being able to you know, do some exercise like that, I think really helps get people away from the bookwork, especially when you've just been sitting at a desk all day. You know, it's really relaxing to be able to go out in the water like that. The nighttime creates a different type of atmosphere. It creates excitement. It creates uh, intrigue. It creates mystery. Um, every experience is going to be a different one when you go out, especially at night. Um, the sea life is alive at night, so fish are jumping, or you may hear something splashing. Well, there you have it, folks. Pack your sunscreens and hats and get ready to paddle. For FIU News, this is Armando Naboot. I definitely can't wait to check out all the new and exciting things that FIU has to offer for their students. Me either. I feel like I'm going to be on campus 24-7 from now on. Absolutely, Gabby. I'll be right there with you. <laughs> but that's all we have for you today. For FIU News, I'm Gabby Ruiz. And I'm Amber Diaz. See you next time, Panthers. Have a great week.